Namaste, myself Dr. Dauro Chauda. I am a director of Pandudi Payev Hospital and Dr. Rupa Chauda is my colleague. She is also director of Pandudi Payev Case to Bed Hospital. Our mobile number is 9714864644. And today's topic is uh, endomyosis. In layman um, language, it is known as swelling of uterus. So, sometimes um, the people come and ask that uh, we, had, we, have, we have done the USG and doctor explained that there is swelling, uh, there is inflammation in the uterus. So, that is the basic thing. So, first of all, we have to um, uh, know what is the adenomyosis. So, to know this thing, first of all, you have to know the anatomy of the this uh, 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 genital tract. This is the uterus, this is the endometrial cavity, this is the myometrium, and this is the serosal or parametrium. These are the both tube, fallopian tube, and this is ovary. This is cervix, and this is cervical canal, and this is the uh, vaginal canal. So, normally there is a developing of the endometrium and shedding of the endometrium every monthly. It is a repeated cycle. But in some cases, this endometrium is goes into myometrium or the Parametrium. In these cases, this type of swelling, redness, and black spots develop. That is known as adenomyosis. Uh, we should differentiate it from the fibroid. Here, you clearly identify this is the adenomyosis and this is the fibroid. So, that is the differentiated point. Now, after proper understanding, we have to know which are the um, complications arising from the adenomyosis, like infertility, not conceiving child, repeatedly mis abortion and preterm prom these are the leaking pv these are the most commonly a problem because of fertility problem and there may be a chances of the abdominal pain abdominal swelling there may be chances of the heaviness in the abdomen like increase the menorrhagia or leaking pv these are all the complications in some cases if the edema is too high then there is a advice given by the doctor that you should do the hysterectomy so that is the uh, first thing second how can you investigate yeah, with the help of ultrasound, an expert doctor from Madhudip, you can investigate this uh, adenomyosis. Uh, in some cases, we have to uh, also advise for the CT scan and MRI because we should differentiate it from the cancer, malignancy, and from fibroid and other pathology. So, this is the investigation purpose. Now, how can we uh, diagnose with the blood? Sometimes CA125 or CA marker also can be used in this type of patient. Which are the drug which is commonly prescribed in adenomyosis? So there is an anti-inflammatory like mepanemic acid, diclofenac, and paracetamol and naproxen is preferably used. Second one, anti-estrogenic, anti-progesterone like denazole is previously used. Nowadays, doctor not prefer this type of drug. Mifepristone, letrozole, and the expert drug is uprolide depo or uprolide injection. Uh, routinely. Doctor uh, give on the adenomyosis in adenomyosis lupronide 3.75 mg th three week, uh, three monthly. So that is the gold standard treatment uh, for the treatment of the adenomyosis. Some cases surgery may be required after expert opinion. Some cases adenomyosis should be removed in the same way like fibroid uh, in myomectomy. Uh, we should remove it uh, laparoscopically or open surgery should be done or in some cases to check the vascularity hysteroscopically, hysteroscopically also we check the vascularity of the uterus so that is for laparoscopy hysteroscopy in heavy endomyosis uh, also hysterectomy is also advisable now uh, how we treat a case of endomyosis in IVF because gold standard Ramban ilaj is IVF test to baby in adenomyosis in later cases and severe cases. So, in dead cases, we improve the vasculity of the uterus with the help of sardinafil, pentoxifiline, tentral, vitamin E, and some of the estrogen and progesterone combination after proper down regulation with the help of lupronide depot or some antagonist uh, hormone agents. And if we give properly for one to three months and check the vascularity with the color Doppler, most of the patient, the quality of endometrium is become very good. The vascularity is also increased. The receptivity is also increasing with the help of this drug, and then we can transfer embryo. So this 
all the things regarding adenomyosis, don't afraid of, don't uh, develop any fear in your psychology and please in these cases myself Dr. Gaurav Chaudhar, BF of Madhuri Paiwef Hospital, if you have any such type of cases you can directly contact us, can diagnose us. Thank you so much.